Brooklyn Independent Television. Shakespeare said, the course of true love never did run smooth. You're about to meet a young woman whose story proves that business ventures often don't run smooth either. Even when the whole point and passion of her business is smooth. Skin, that is. Which was developed about 10 years ago. I've had my store since November of 2005, about almost five years. My background is uh, I am a scientist. <laughs> I've studied chemistry. I have a BS, a uh, Bachelor of Science and degree. As a chemist, you know, I wanted to challenge still my brain, and I came across soap making. I love to know how it was made from scratch. It's just who I am. I need to know from the beginning. You know, me being a label reader since I was young, I knew that what I was doing was wholesome and, you know, my kids and my family would benefit. And then from there on, I gave it to friends and family. They liked it. And then I said, oh, I can do more with this. And I developed skincare. I developed the creams, lotions, lip balms. I just loved the way people felt when they used my products. I knew this, this had to be shared. Okay, today we're going to do a pumpkin pie sugar polish. Mmm, with organic lemon juice, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. I didn't even know it was going to become a business. Just the reaction of the people just led me to want to give more. But I knew I had to charge something because I couldn't keep giving it to them. So I started charging small and then I realized it was getting bigger than what I can you know, just be as a gift, so it turned out to be a company that I'm very proud of. We will add a scent, pumpkin pie. The first thing was just getting a place to manufacture. I mean, I just wanted to keep producing. But in the back of my mind, I knew it was becoming a business, but I still wanted to produce because I wanted to give this to people. So I went to get a place and I, I didn't go, I didn't do what normal people would do. You know, go and do a business plan, go see if people help you, where, where, where can you get money from this. I just knew that if I didn't do this quickly, it wasn't going to happen. So I just put both my feet out and uh, used uh, what we had, the money that we had, and went to look for a place, and that's how it all started. Okay, I was ready to pour. The challenges I faced, because I went uh, the non-traditional way, um, was almost bankruptcy. I used all my credit cards. Um, I was always here because at the beginning I had to get all these things ready. I didn't do any marketing. Um, I didn't think I had to because it was such a great product. I came up with such a great idea, you know. And so I said, people are gonna, they're gonna want it. But you also have to understand this is not, this is not a very trafficy location to begin with. So that was also difficult for me. So it also depends on the location how much marketing you need to do. Well, in my opinion, um, you always have to do marketing. There was also a halt online. It was both. I was having um, no foot traffic coming into my store and my uh, website wasn't moving. That's because no one knew of Celebrity. And the same with here. Um, so I had, to, I had two challenges that I really had to figure out. Here we go. Right now I'm currently just online because I had to revamp uh, celebrate once, once more, um, also because of the economy. So I had to close the store in July and really think hardcore what I really wanted to do and it was okay to do that. So what I did was I took about two, three months and within that the first thing I did was assess myself, revamp myself, you know. And once I did that, everything was clear because you have to have clarity. You have to have a path. Because every step you take, you know, you're getting closer. I don't know if I will go back because everything has a purpose. Um, I'm stronger because of my falls. I've fallen really hard, flat in my face. Um, and I love that because I could get back up and it's what you do with it. I've learned that it's okay to receive. So I, I plan to take advantage of a lot of help out there. Right now I've been blessed with a lot of Hispanic organization. Uh, asking me to speak and then say, Liz, we want to help you. I was like, fine, you know, like three and a half years. I said, that's okay, you can leave the money for somebody else. That was always my mentality. I don't need, I can struggle, I can make it. I'm like, okay, I need help. I need help. That is not the mentality you, ha you can use when you go into a business. You, the business doesn't make itself, it needs a team, you know, it needs help. <laughs> 
by um, spring 2010, I plan to have at least two full-time people helping me here. With help outside and, and investors, this can happen. I can see Celebrity uh, manufacturing um, in a better, faster way in wholesale. Wholesale, yeah. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.